Hello, welcome. Welcome to day 362 of our Bible in a Year Challenge. My name is Sandra. I'm going to be your host for today. Welcome. We are committed to reading our Bibles in a year with just less than 20 minutes daily read time. Yes, you heard me right. Just less than 20 minutes daily read time. Please kindly go ahead right now. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Facebook, on Instagram, and on TikTok at Sandra Boyowaruleba. Let's get started. Day 362, December 28, 2022. 365 days Bible reading. Old Testament, Nehemiah 9. New Testament, Revelation 19, verse 11 to 21. Psalms and Proverbs, Psalm 148. Verse 7 to 14. Old Testament NIV version, Nehemiah 9, verse 1 to 38. The Israelites confessed their sins. On the 24th day of the same month, the Israelites gathered together, fasting and wearing sackcloth and putting dust on their heads. Those of Israelite descent had separated themselves from all foreigners. They stood in their places and confessed their sins and the sins of their ancestors. They stood where they were and read from the book of the law of the Lord their God for a quarter of the day and spent another quarter in confession and in worshipping the Lord their God. Standing on the stairs of the Levites were Joshua, Bani, Kadmia, Shebaniah, Buni, Sherebiah, Bani, and Kenani. They cried out with loud voices to the Lord their God, and the Levites, Jeshua, Kadmiel, Bani, Hashab, Nea, Sherebiah, Hodiah, Shebaniah, and Pethahiah, said, Stand up and praise the Lord your God, who is from everlasting to everlasting. Blessed be your glorious name, and may it be exalted above all blessing and praise. You alone are the Lord, you made the heavens, even the highest heavens, and all their starry host. The earth and all that is on it, the seas and all that is in them. You gave life to everything, and the multitudes of heaven worship you. You are the Lord God who chose Abram and brought him out of Ur, to or of the Chaldeans and named him Abraham. You found his heart faithful to you and you made a covenant with him to give to his descendants the lands of the Canaanites, Hethites, Amorites, Perizzites, Jebusites, and Jigasites. You have kept your promise because you were righteous. You saw the suffering of our ancestors in Egypt. You heard their cry at the Red Sea. You sent signs and wonders against Pharaoh, against all his officials and all the people of his land. For you knew how arrogantly the Egyptians treated them. You made a name for yourself which remained to this day. You divided the sea before them so that they passed through it on dry ground. But you hurled their pursuers into the depths like a stone into mighty waters. By day you led them with a pillar of cloud and by night with a pillar of fire to give them light on the way they were to take. You came down on Mount Sinai. You spoke to them from heaven. You gave them regulations and laws that are just and right, and decrees and commands that are good. You made known to them your holy Sabbath and gave them commands, decrees, and laws through your servant Moses. In their hunger, you gave them bread from heaven, and in their thirst, you brought them water from the rock. You told them to go in and take possession of the land you had sworn with uplifted hand to give them. But they, our ancestors, became arrogant and stiff-necked, and they did not obey your commands. They refused to listen and failed to remember the miracles you performed among them. They became stiff-necked, and in their rebellion, appointed a leader in order to return to their slavery. But you are a forgiving God, gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and abounding in love. Therefore, you did not desert them. Even when they cast for themselves an image of a calf and said, This is your God who brought you up out of Egypt, or when they committed awful blasphemies. 
Because of your great compassion, you did not abandon them in the wilderness. By day, the pillar of cloud did not fail to guide them on their path, nor the pillar of fire by night to shine on the way they were to take. You gave your good spirit to instruct them. You did not withhold your manna from their mouths, and you gave them water for their thirst. For 40 years, you sustained them in the wilderness. They lacked nothing. Their clothes did not wear out, nor did their feet become swollen. Hallelujah. You gave them kingdoms and nations, allotting to them even the remotest frontiers. They took over the country of Sihon, king of Heshbon, and the country of Og, king of Bashan. You made their children as numerous as the stars in the sky, and you brought them into the land that you told their parents to enter and possess. Their children went in and took possession of the land. You subdued before them the Canaanites who lived in the land. You gave the Canaanites into their hands along with their kings and the peoples of the land to deal with them as they pleased. They captured fortified cities and fertile land. They took possession of houses filled with all kinds of good things, wells already dug, vineyards, olive groves, and fruit trees in abundance. They ate to the full and were well nourished. They reveled in your great goodness, but they were disobedient and rebelled against you. They turned their backs on your law. They killed your prophets, who had warned them in order to turn them back to you. They committed awful blasphemies. So you delivered them into the hands of their enemies, who oppressed them. But when they were oppressed, they cried out to you. From heaven you heard them. And in your great compassion, you gave them deliverers, who rescued them from the hand of their enemies. But as soon as they were at rest, they again did what was evil in your sight. Then you abandoned them to the hand of their enemies, so that they ruled over them. And when they cried out to you again, you heard from heaven, and in your compassion, you delivered them time after time. You won them in order to turn back to your law but they became arrogant and disobeyed your commands they sinned against your ordinances of which you said the person who obeys them will live by them stubbornly they turned their backs on you became stiff-necked and refused to listen for many years you were patient with them by your spirit you warned them through your prophets yet they paid no attention so you gave them into the hands of the neighboring peoples but in your great mercy you did not put an end to them or abandon them, for you are a gracious and merciful God. Hallelujah. Now, therefore, our God, the great God Almighty and awesome, who keeps his covenant of love, do not let all this hardship seem trifling in your eyes. The hardship that has come on us, on our kings and leaders, on our priests and prophets, on our ancestors and all your people, from the days of the kings of Assyria until now. In all that has happened to us, you have remained righteous. You have acted faithfully while we acted wickedly. Our kings, our leaders, our priests, and our ancestors did not follow your law. They did not pay attention to your commands or the statutes you warned them to keep. Even while they were in their kingdom, enjoying your great goodness to them in the spacious and fertile land you gave them, they did not serve you or turn from their evil ways. But see, we are slaves today, slaves in the land you gave our ancestors so they could eat its fruit and the other good things it produces. Because of our sins, its abundant harvest goes to the kings you have placed over us. They rule over our bodies and our cattle as they please. We are in great distress. The agreement of the people. In view of all this, we are making a binding agreement, putting it in writing, and our leaders, our Levites, and our priests are affixing their seals to it. New Testament and IV version, Revelation 19, verse 11 to 21. The heavenly warrior defeats the beast. I saw heaven standing upon standing open and there before me was a white horse whose rider is called faithful and true with justice he judges and wages war his eyes are like blazing fire and on his head are many crowns he has a name written on him that no one knows but himself he is dressed in a robe dipped in blood and his name is the word of god 
The armies of heaven were following him, riding on white horses and dressed in fine linen, white and clean. Coming out of his mouth is a sharp sword with which to strike down the nations. He will rule them with an iron scepter. He treads the winepress of the fury of the wrath of God Almighty. On his robe and on his thigh, he has this name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. And I saw an angel standing in the sun who cried in a loud voice to all the birds flying in mid-air, Come, gather together for the great supper of God, so that you may eat the flesh of kings, generals, and the mighty of horses and their riders, and the flesh of all people, free and slave, great and small. Then I saw the beast and the kings of the earth and their armies gathered together to wage war against the rider on the horse and his army. But the beast was captured. And with it, a false prophet who had performed the signs on its behalf. With these signs, he had deluded those who had received the mark of the beast and worshipped its image. The two of them were thrown alive into the fiery lake of burning sulfur. The rest were killed with the sword coming out of the mouth of the rider on the horse, and all the birds gorged themselves on their flesh. Psalms and Proverbs, Psalm 148, verse 7 to 14. Praise the Lord from the earth, you great sea creatures and all ocean depths, lightning and hail, snow and clouds, stormy winds that do his bidding, you mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars, wild animals and all cattle, small creatures and flying birds, kings of the earth and all nations, you princes and all rulers on earth, young men and women, old men and children. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His splendor is above the earth and the heavens, and he has raised up for his people a horn, the praise of all his faithful servants of Israel, the people close to his heart. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Please, if you're here and you'd like to make Jesus your personal Lord and Savior, kindly repeat this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I confess my sins and I ask for your forgiveness. Please come into my heart as my Lord and Savior. Take complete control of my life and help me to walk in your footsteps daily by the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for saving me and for answering my prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Congratulations if you said this prayer. We are so excited to welcome you into God's family. Kindly go ahead right now. Send us an email. Let us know you gave your heart to Christ. Someone is going to reach out to you and pray with you and help you in your new walk of faith. The email address is salvation in Christ 101 at gmail.com. That is salvation in Christ 101 at gmail.com. God bless you. Please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Facebook, on Instagram, and on TikTok at Sandra Boyo Aruleba. Please continue to share this link with your friends, family, and loved ones. Encourage them to join us as we read our Bibles every single day. Thank you for being here today. I look forward to another amazing day with you tomorrow. Have a blessed day today. I love you. Bye.